Welcome, my brothers and sisters. Today, we're talking about be careful of the company you keep. Listen to this. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sinners in the way of sinners, nor sitters in the seats of the scornful. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. What is the counsel of the ungodly? People that gather together to do evil things. They always plotting to kill, steal, and destroy. You do not want to keep the counsel of those people. You don't want to be around those type of people. The Bible tells us, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. You want to meditate on God's word day and night. Your delight, your pleasure, your happiness should be in the law of the Lord. By reading God's word, Build a relationship with God. That should be your delight. Meditating on God's word day and night. And the Bible say this. And he should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also should not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. God said you meditate on his word day and night. You stay focused on his word. You stay focused on him. You fight the good fight of faith. You have faith in him. God said you should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And his leaf also should not wither. A tree that's planted right there by the springs of the water. You, you ain't gonna never get dried up. And God said you're gonna bring forth your fruit in your season. When your season come. You're going to bring forth your fruit. And guess what? Your leaf should not wither. In other words, nobody can take that blessing away from you once God give it to you. Once God bless you because you have been faithful, because you have been standing firm in his word, nobody can take that away from you. It belongs to you because God gave it to you. Listen to this. It say. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I said, whatever you do, you're going to prosper. But the ungodly, the ungodly are not so. But are like the calf with the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. The ungodly won't be blessed by God. They're going to be like a, a cat with the wind driving back and forth. They don't know which way they're going. Because Satan got their mind twisted. They out here running around, bumping into all type of walls and don't realize. Their eyes open, but they are blind. Because they listen to the way that Satan wants them to go. See, when you walk with God, God open your eyes. God truly open your eyes. He lets you know what's really going on in this world. He show you things on the spiritual side. He lets you know that you're in the spiritual warfare. He let you know which side that you really want to be on. You want to be on the winner side. The winner. God is the winner. God is the victorious one. That's the side you want to be on. You see, because Satan not already lost. He's just waiting for his time to be punished for all eternity. He know he's going to the lake of fire. He know that all, and all those fallen angels that decide to follow his way, all those demons now, all of them going to the lake of fire with him. And everybody who decide to walk his way, on this earth is going with him. You got to know the truth. God is victorious. You want to be on the winner's side. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of ungodly shall perish. The way of the ungodly is going to perish. All the ungodly is going to perish away. So be careful of the company you keep. You don't want to get caught up in their schemes and scams. I know some of you probably watch this video been going through hard times. You've been praying. You've been patient. And some people know that you've been going through hard times. They probably didn't came to you trying to get you to plot to do evil things. Or someone might come to you after you watch this video trying to get you to do evil things. Come on, man. We can go out here and, and hustle up you something. You know what I'm saying? I got a lick that we can go hit. Trying to get you to go rob somebody or, or get you to go steal something. Trying to show you that you can do it that way. Walk away from them. Tell them no. My God is able. 
It is written. As Jesus said, it is written. Seek thee first the kingdom of heaven. All these things should be added unto me. So whatever you've been praying for, whatever you wait for God to bless you with, whether it's a job or whether it's a new home or whether it's a new vehicle, whatever it is, seek God first and all these things will be added unto you. God will add them things unto you himself. And guess what? When God give it to you, nobody can take it away. When God give it to you, you ain't got to worry about going to jail behind you. When God give it to you, you ain't worried about nobody taking it away from you. Because God bless you with He gave it to you. God say, you should be like a tree planted by the river or the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season. When your season come, it's your season. Be careful of the company you keep. You don't want no one to make you miss out on your blessings that God got in store for you. All right, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, like that, subscribe to the channel to help you grow. Also, leave a comment down below. To all my subscribers, I thank you guys so God. I thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. May God bless and protect each and every one of you and your family, friends, and loved ones. Till next time, as always, remember, keep God first, y'all. Keep God first, number one in your life, above everyone and anything. Stay prayed up. We got to stay prayed up. It's a time and days we got to stay prayed up. We got to read and pray and read our Bibles every day. Every day, ask God to forgive you for your sins. But you feel like you sinned or not because sometimes we don't even know we done sinned. But you don't want to ever, ever go to bed without asking God to forgive you for your sins. Because we are humans. We are human beings and we will make mistakes unknowingly and unwillingly. So I always ask God to forgive you for your sins with a sincere heart. For sins that you know you have committed, sins that you don't recognize you have committed. You want to ask God to forgive you for those sins. And y'all stay safe out here. It's a lot going on in this world. Let God keep you up under his wings. Let God keep you up under his protection. Let God angels keep you that you may not even dash your foot up against a stone. Let God be your fortress and your refuge. Stay close to Christ. Build a serious relationship with God. A serious relationship up with God. Let God in. And kick the devil out. Remember, God loves you so much that he sends only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, into this world to die for our sins, to die for us, that we can have life and have it more abundantly. God loves us just that much. He sent his only son to die for us. Y'all stay blessed. And remember again. Be careful of the company you keep. Stay away from the counsel of the ungodly. God bless you. God love you. So do I.